Okay, okay, we are back with some more Fiona Apple. Next up is Criminal, produced by Andrew Slater. Um, how old is this one? 96 as well, okay. Is this the debut? Fourth track on debut album, okay, alright, let's check it out then. We've got a video as well. It's groovy. Way. The wood paneling and the rug. Guys, wait, this shit's okay. I didn't expect this type of sound, but the groove, it, it, it's kind of, it's the jazzy, maybe a little bit of blues, but I'm fucking with the instrumental, dude. And her singing's cool as well, of course. Guys, what's happening in the video? It looks like they had like a wild party last night and everyone's like hung over. But the girl in the closet, I feel like she was like, <laughs> maybe I'm just relating this to like experiences I've had in real life. But I'm worried about the girl in the closet. Like, it just seems like she was on some like trippy ass psychedelic drugs. You know what I mean? And someone just finds her in the closet. She she looks like, can I get, okay, when she looked at the camera, she looked very scared. You know what I mean? Like I was just, whoa, spoilers. Anyways, let's keep going. I don't know what's happening in the video, but it's groovy. Oh my god, it's her in the closet. <laughs> The beat's still evolving. We're good, we're good. Okay, we're fine. Also, guys, I'm getting kind of country vibes from this a little bit. I, maybe like Shania Twain. Is anyone hearing a little bit of Shania Twain in this? Am I tripping? There's a fucking flying here still, man. Ew, his feet! Ew, I didn't realize he's touching her face with his feet, dude. Ew. Ew. I don't care if your feet are clean in the water. Stop. This is so Shania coded. Oh wow, that's fancy. The TV in the ground thingy. <laughs> What's a box TV? She's a criminal. Dude. 
Guys, it's so country Shania coded. I love it. It reminds me of it a lot. I, I feel like I'm wrong, but am I wrong? Those sheets are so old school. Do more of that. Oh, that was that was cool. But that's nice. This beat is dope as fuck too, dude. It's the nineties CGI. <laughs> That was dope as fuck, dude. That felt really badass. And like just the fucking groove of that of that instrumental just oh my lord. Bless my parents who had to listen to 14-year-old me singing this on repeat during our three-day drive to Maine. <clears throat> that sounds annoying. <laughs> I remember her winning an MTV award and standing on the stage saying, This world is bullshit. <laughs> Some Kurt Cobain stuff, okay. I thought that was awesome. She meant the music industry, the front, the stars put on for everyone to see. It's all just a bunch of fake ass bullshit. She told the kids out there watching not to try and be like them or dress like them, be yourself because it's just all just bullshit. People got mad at her for that. She became my hero. I feel like this is another thing that I think a lot of people, I don't know about the 90s and probably not in the 90s, but nowadays I think people are aware how dog shit the music industry is, how people try and take advantage of other people. There's power dynamics. I think everyone's aware of that. Um, but I, I, I just think like fans and listeners of celebrities, they don't care. Even though they care, like it's a bad thing and they don't want it to happen. They don't care because there's nothing we can do as listeners. Are, you, are we going to go send an angry tweet? What, what the fuck are we going to do as listeners and, and fucking fans of these celebrities to change the music industry or the you know so i get where they're coming from and like i said it's probably different in the 90s but nowadays it's like i think people are well aware of how dog shit the industry is not just the music but even in the movie industry um the amount of power in her voice is insane she does got she didn't yeah but i disagree um i've just been listening to so much music now and like ray if you want to talk about like power and vocals and control ray I Ray 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 bitch Ray all right um come on I I've, I've just been I watched I literally reacted to a, a live performance and I'm still mind blown by what I saw that video I don't know if it's out yet but it's coming if it's not this could uh, debut in 2024 and still be as fresh as it was in the 90s yeah it could it definitely could remaster it. I swear, unless you live during this time, the exact vibe is hard to understand. The gross plywood, the green carpet is 70s, but mixed with the heroin chick dirty vibe of the 90s alt scene. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know that. Heroin. Uh, well, heroin chick. Angelina Jolie kind of fit in that vibe back in the day, right? The 90s alt scene heroin. Because it's a very specific party scene that was definitely not fun. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Like, the one girl looked like she was tripping in the corner. I guess Fiona. No teenager should be able to write music this sophisticated. Fiona is a goddess. What would an angel say the devil wants to know? It's such an amazing lyric. I'd noticed that too, because she's a criminal, right? I can't believe she was only 17 when she wrote this. It's a lyrical masterpiece, but I feel so sad watching this, knowing all the hard things she was dealing with. Oh, I don't know about that. See, I'd, I don't know her lore. I don't know everything about her. I don't even know a little about her. The fact that she wrote this in 45 minutes after her label asked her for a clearer single. The sad thing is, she was in the midst of anorexia when she wrote this, and at the time, few people knew, including myself. It's so easily recognizable now. That's tough. I mean, I don't know what it's like, but I can imagine. I can't imagine. That drummer deserves a high five for that crunchy groove. True. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I agree. When this came out on MTV, uh, I remember how everyone flipped their lids. Some people insisted it was softcore porn, or that it was her coded cry for help 
Her voice is legendary, gives me chills. 20 years later, obsessed with this video. A lot of people talk about her lyrics or how she looks, but if you take time to listen, the arrangement, the composition is... Guys, I, I, maybe it's one of those things where you just have to be there, but this isn't... I don't think this is a very sophisticated track. Yes, she wrote it when she was 17. I don't think this is a very fucking... I don't think this is genius. If you, if you, I don't get it. We're like, I get it. Music is subjective, but why do we act like something is like this top tier, number ten, fucking awesome art put in the museum of humanity type of shit? Like it's, it's a good song. It's groovy. It's fun. But it's this isn't this isn't the pinnacle of art. This isn't the pinnacle of perfection. I don't. I guess people have their own opinions. It's music subjective, classic. But I just really don't see where they're coming from. Have you not heard enough music out there to realize like? how much amazing stuff really exists out there i i don't understand i like the song but when i read people like saying like this shit is like the fucking this is the best this is the best song of all time you know like i know i'm exaggerating but i just don't like seeing that stuff because it's just not true it's not true this isn't the best thing of all time it's fucking cool but i don't like when people overhype things that don't i i, I can't see the reasons yeah, whatever 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 who cares it's a cool song. I do like it. Her vocals are nice, but I feel like some of the people are overplaying her vocals, at least for this song. Um, and the instrumental is very fucking groovy. So I do fuck with it. Keep it early, man. I will keep. What will I rate this track? Um, You know what? Dude, it's groovy. It's fucking groovy. The chorus is really nice. So I will go like an 8. 8-7. I was thinking eight six, but it's leaning more than that. So for me, man, eight seven. It is a good song, um, and I do like the jazzy vibes on this one. The jazzy vibes are really it. I love that shit. Eight seven.